Pretty crazy to think that there are all these people, according to her, helping uh, Ghislaine behind the scenes right now. Powerful people. A lot of jaw-dropping claims made there. I want to bring in two other people uh, who uh, know a lot about the Epstein case. Joshua Schiffer is a criminal attorney. His law firm represented one of Epstein's victims. And Hillary Fordwich is a British royals commentator. Josh, I want to start with you. You just heard my interview uh, with Christina Oxenberg. Um, she talks about the other men, the powerful men who may be outed in all of this. But one thing she told me that wasn't included in that clip is she said she believes that those men, for the most part, uh, may have had sex with, with girls who were not underage, girls who may have been 19 or 20 years old. If they were right over the legal limit, will that protect them moving forward? No, not necessarily, because there's a variety of other laws that actually criminalize moving people across state lines and around the country for immoral and indecent purposes. Uh, it goes back as far as the Mann Act in 1910 in the United States, which was originally titled the Anti-White Slave Act, but has now been expanded to pretty much cover anyone that is moving a woman across state lines in the U.S. Virgin Islands would uh, fall into that jurisdiction for immoral or indecent purposes. And it's a great catch-all law. Uh, juries respond to it really well. The Department of Justice uses it extensively. And it absolutely would apply to people being involved in an organization involving bringing these women to a private island to have sex with them, regardless of their age. That may explain why many uh, of these men might be nervous tonight. Hillary, I want to ask you, you heard Christina Oxenberg suggest, and this really blew my mind, that there is a deal in the background, she believes, with powerful people who have told Ghislaine if she stays quiet, they will get her out of the United States, get her transferred back to the UK, where she'll be in some kind of luxury prison there and eventually get out. Do you think that's really possible, Hillary? Well, Brian, um, right now, of course, that's speculation, but anything is possible. And um, the, it begs the question for anybody, why has she remained quiet? She has not divulged any specifics or any details. And yes, she does have those tapes. We know that. I think what's very interesting, though, to consider is that Lady Victoria Hervray, she is a former um, girlfriend of Prince Andrew. She has been on air claiming his abs Prince Andrew's absolute innocence and saying that the photographer who took the photograph, the now infamous photograph of Prince Andrew uh, with uh, Virginia Gouffre in that apartment building with, yeah, you're showing it now with Ghislaine Maxwell in the background, that that was a very bad photo, badly photoshopped photograph. Of course, Prince Andrew couldn't come out and defend himself. So the question also becomes, why on earth did Prince Andrew settle for those nearly $12 million with Virginia Gouffre? Of course, in a jubilee, of course, for his mother. Again, speculation, but but yes, you're absolutely right. There are very many powerful men, powerful and rich beyond any comprehension that absolutely don't want anything out there. And they can pull all sorts of international strings. Josh, Christina was very clear with me. She thinks uh, if, uh, if she had already started talking, Ghislaine, if Ghislaine had spoken and given the names that she would be dead by now. She thinks the only reason Ghislaine is alive is because she's stayed quiet. Uh, what do you think about that, Josh? It's absolutely reasonable. We're, we're not talking about normal people. When you get to the levels of power and influence, the whole world changes when you get up in this stratospheric level. And that's why everything still is on the table. Would anybody else be considered for an international, basically prisoner exchange with one of our favorite international allies, the UK? No, not in a million years, but it's absolutely possible for some of her support team to set this up as as basically a political prosecution, especially consider the people involved. And that is exactly how governments get together, make some sausage in the back room, split Solomon's baby, and people get freed, moved, changed. Situations are always amenable if there's enough political will and power behind the movement. That's the real question. 
We all have strong suspicions and knowledge about the Epstein 8. There's also additional people that I believe are undisclosed. She holds, that being Jelaine, immense power to affect her current sentence of 20 years by offering to share or use that information. And she could be biding her time until this theoretical promise of transfer materializes. But as soon as she gives up those names, she gives up her power. And then she's no good to anyone. So she has one more big shot. She's going to make the most of it. And Christina made the point to me today, look, this is in the headlines now. Everyone's talking about it. She said, you just watch. A year or two from now, when it's out of the headlines, it's going to be secret, and Ghislaine is going to end up in the UK. Hillary, how will people in Britain feel about this? What do they think about Ghislaine? What will they think if she suddenly shows up there? Well, Brian, no one can speak for the entire nation uh, of, of Great Britain uh, at all. But I will speculate, obviously, uh, I'll give you some facts on this. Um, with Prince, uh, with regard to Prince Andrew, the city of York, uh, there was a movement to remove his um, keys to the city. Um, they don't even want him using that title anymore, um, Duke of York. So I think that gives you an indication. Also, Prince Andrew used to be within the top 10 in terms of popularity, and a YouGov poll has him at the very bottom. So with that poll and the people of the city of York, I think you've got two data points there. Also, the royal family tends not to, unlike him, um, have bad judgment. And the good judgment was to make sure that he didn't appear at any of the Jubilee events. He was not on the balcony. He was not at St. Paul's Cathedral. He was absent from everything to do with the Queen's Jubilee. And that was because, of course, they want to keep him out of the spotlight. Josh, let me ask you, we, we hear about these secret tapes that, that Ghislaine and Jeffrey were recording these powerful men on the plane, audio and video, and that these recordings have been duplicated and exist. Uh, would those be admissible in court? What do you think about oh. these recordings, Josh? Oh, absolutely. As long as especially in civil court, uh, the government is often in criminal court allowed to use discovery or discoverable information that it obtained through otherwise illegitimate means, or they were created through illegitimate means as long as the government acquired them legitimately. Same in the civil arena for, for lawsuits for damages, you're allowed to bring in all kinds of evidence. You still have to prove its validity, where it comes from, but it's not about the admissibility as much as the weight that a jury will place on it. And juries adore audio and videotapes. That would be the most uh, effective evidence that anyone could produce, and it's plenty to basically threaten any of these prominent individuals to use all of their powers to make this case go away. And we're really seeing some of the heat get turned up under their rear ends. These are people worth billions. Their mere words can shake the earth. Any disruption uh, with something like this, it, it affects thousands, if not millions of people and markets around the world. There's a giant impetus. For Crazy to think about this impacts people at the highest levels of government and business. And if Christina Oxenberg is right, this is going to take some wild turns in the months and years ahead. We'll stay on it. Josh Schiffer and Hillary Fordwich, thank you for coming on tonight. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.